Dan the Man here doing another video demo. This time it's of Goomba Color DS, which is a port of the Goomba Color emulator for the Game Boy Advance to the DS, as the name suggests. I'm going to be using Wi-Fi loader here just to make it a little bit faster. Uh, looking at the release notes, Dwight states that the sound is garbled, you must reset the game before any sound appears. He couldn't get lib libfat working, so he has to embed the game inside the emulator. And I'm going to send the game over. The one he embedded inside is called Dry Mouth. And I really suck at the game, but let's give it a shot. And turn sound up a little bit. And reset as instructed. Okay. Now this is a very early preliminary alpha release, it's not really meant to do anything except show some progress, so don't be put off by the bugginess, and I have no idea what I'm doing in this game, so I'm just going to guess, and yeah, guessing, ah, if I fail. Okay, I think I just, I'm about to die. Whatever. Anyway, so that's the game that's embedded inside. Looking at the menu, you've got your standard Goomba menus. Let's see if I can refocus here. Got auto fire off, on, or with R. Got display settings. I don't know if I don't know if that makes a difference. I haven't tried any. Well, all the Game Boy games I tried didn't work. Uh, other display settings, VSync, yada yada. Uh, you've still got the standard Super Game Boy features, which is really nice. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So I'm gonna restart Wi-Fi loader here. Uh, even though the one game is embedded inside, you can still, y if you use a hex editor, you can kind of insert your own game. It doesn't work too well, but you can at least get one or two games working. The only two I was able to get working, uh, Pokemon Pinball and Pokemon Red. I tried about five other games, didn't work. So this is Pokemon Pinball, and you'll notice the sound is kind of scratchy. Okay. Well, there's also that issue. However, I do want to point out that I think our speed issues are a thing of the past. Watch. Jeez. Thank goodness for that autosaver. <laughs> I just got an oddish, I think. Whatever. Okay, so you get the idea. Whatever. Anyway. I'm going to change the settings real quick. Turn that back on. And change it to... For Super Game Boy first. Get the border. So you can see the border still works, yet right now it's in... Not many color mode. For some reason I have to do this in order to make it do show both the border and the Game Boy Color colors. So, you get the idea? Basically, this emulator is freaking fast. And I'm going to send over Pokemon Red now, as that was the other game I got working. And again, you'll notice that I'm going to load up the Super Game Boy borders. It also defaults to the Super Game Boy palette number zero. Don't ask me why. So, got the border, yada yada. And again, speed is a thing of the past. The problem is that the sound is a little bit uh, not good. Oh, right, I'm in slow-mo, right. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. 
you get the idea. Obviously, there's no saving yet because this is a preliminary release. Now, just as an example, I did try to get other games working. I'm going to send over one of my personal favorites, Azure Dreams. However, as I found out, even though the Super Game Boy Color, sorry, the Super Game Boy border loads and the Game Boy Color presence is there, it still locks up uh, right before the beginning. Some people have suggested that it's an issue with the SRAM saving. Any game that uses SRAM might not work, but that doesn't explain why Pokemon Pinball does work. Okay, hold up. So, jeez. Uh, okay, so I'm going to change the settings for a second. I'm going to do the Game Boy Color and Super Game Boy mode and restart. That should load up the border. It just takes a while to boot this game. Yay! But, as you will quickly see, after the opening logos... It just freezes. The entire emulator locks up. I can't do anything. So, oddly enough, that's exactly the point at which my official cartridge of this game stopped working. Anyway, so that's that. Um... While I'm at it, I might as well show you Lame Boy version 0 0.9. That's the other emulator available. Jeez. Uh, show you the game running on this. There's no uh, Super Game Boy support in this one. However, you can increase the screen size, and I'll show you that. I'm also using the speed up button, which is very nice. So, you've got this. Okay, the sound works pretty well in this one, but you can increase the screen size. However, even though it looks pretty bad at this point, you can hit Y again to in it does this bilinear filtering. It looks pretty decent, actually. I know you can't tell from this video, but you can't really tell the difference between this and that. But in person, it actually looks really nice, and it's very fun to play with. So yeah, you got your standard whatever. This game is really slow-paced, so I really like using the speed-up button here. I think I've reg it's registered like 46 hours on this game, but I've only played it maybe 20 of that, if that. It's pretty nice, really. So yeah, playing around, yada yada. Let's go attack a monster, whatever. I've been poisoned. That sucks. Makes the battles go a lot quicker with the speed up button. Let me tell you. Okay. Anyway, so that is that. You can press LR to go back to the ROM menu, and just for the sake of it, I'm going to open up Zelda, just because I can. Again, sound works very well. It's just that my save file is pretty uh, old. In fact, I think this is the exact point I was at when I posted the other Lame Boy demo. I really gotta play this game. And again, the speed up button makes it go a lot faster. And yet, uh... Attack the chickens, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that is that. And that is another video demo. Hope you enjoyed.